Hi, welcome to GTEC. Let us discuss about modern classification. In modern classification, the plant kingdom is divided into two types. The one is prokaryotes, another one is eukaryote. Prokaryote is subdivided into monera kingdom. The sample example for monera kingdom is rod shaped bacteria. You can see it over here. And the eukaryote is subdivided into protoctista kingdom, fungi kingdom, plant kingdom, and animal kingdom. The amoeba is example for protoctista kingdom and moles for fungi kingdom, ferns for plant kingdom, jellyfish for animal kingdom. You can see it over here. The classification is start with kingdom, then phylum, class, order, family, genus, and the final one is species. Here, the classification is given, and the exact sample example is given over here. For kingdom, Animalia, phylum, Chordata, class. Mammalia and order for Carnivora, family Felidae and genus for Panthera and the final one species is Panthera fortis. In modern classification, the polar bear is named Arsis maritimus. The genus Arsis describes a group of closely related bear species. You can see the bear over here. Maritimus describes where the polar bear lives and the unpack ice floating on the sea. You can see the unpack ice floating. In modern classification, the Linnaeus grouped species into large taxa such as genus and family it is based on visible similarities and Darwin's ideas about descent with modification evolved into the study of phylogeny or evolutionary evolutionary relationships among organisms you can see grouped species over here it is based on visible similarities Now let's talk about species of organisms. There are 13 billion known species of organisms. This is only 5% of all organisms that ever lived. Now, no organisms are still being found and identified. Here, the microorganisms over here, these organisms, we are not able to see that. If you see about modern classification, we should know what is classification. The classification is the arrangement of organisms into orderly groups based on their similarities. You can see it over here. The classification is also known as taxonomy. Taxonomists are scientists that they are identify and name organisms. Now we are see about benefits of classifying. The name of the organisms are accurate and uniform. It prevents misnomers such as starfish and jellyfish because they aren't really fish. The benefits use the same language for all names. You can see the star and jellyfish over here. Let us talk about standardized naming. Standardized naming is nothing but binomial nomenclature. The binomial nomenclature used genus species, Latin or Greek, italicized in printing, capitalized genus but not species, underline when writing. 
The sample example for binomial nomenclature is here. Here the human is called Homo sapiens. Homo is genus and sapiens is species. Here the genus is capitalized but not species. The word is underlined here. Now we are going to see about rules for naming organisms. The International Code for Binomial Nomenclature contains the rules for naming organisms. All names must be approved by International Naming Congress that is International Zoological Congress. These Congress prevents duplicated names. Here you can see the binomial nomenclature works.